I played myself. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning, my vlogmas family. Shout out to his family. Good morning. It is the 19th. When you're watching, it's the 20th. We are in the Christmas home stretch. I'm pretty excited. Um, it's like, <laughs> this is so corny, but like, it's like I'm excited because we're getting close to Christmas, but then I also get kind of depressed because like, I'm like, I don't want it to be over. I don't want Christmas to be over, but you know what? We've still got some time. We've got some time to do some Christmassy things. I really, really need to wrap today. Okay, I'm sorry. Who else hates the way they look with a ponytail like this? <laughs> I just didn't have the energy to like make it look cute today. I should have like parted it in the middle. Oh, I'm using that scrunchie from yesterday. Should have used a little middle part moment. Mini wet brush. Great to keep in the purse. Maybe that would help if it was a middle part. My hair is like also kind of still too short to like fit in a middle pony. I don't think that really helped much, did it? Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, so I need to wrap presents today. That is what I'm dedicating today to. Um, so I will say today we were actually supposed to go to New York. We were gonna go to New York. Yar planned a whole birthday trip for me. So unfortunately, New York is very unsafe right now. It's just like they're getting close to like the red zone again. Um, and <laughs> multiple things that Yarman had planned for us got canceled. Yesterday he got an email that the Rockettes that he had booked for us got canceled and he showed me he's like I am so sorry like I had all these things planned all these surprises and like they're all shutting down or they're all canceled like and he said he's like we can still go if you want you know I had certain restaurants we could go to because I believe you can go if you're vaccinated and you have your card he's like there are certain restaurants we can go see the tree if you still want but he has so many like sweet fun events planned that we wouldn't be able to go to and then on top of that I'm like I'd rather just be safe and not go um I don't want to get exposed especially before Christmas I mean granted we are boosted up but I'd just rather not even expose us to anything like that and just keep us safe keep others safe so um we canceled our trip to New York uh but <laughs> he like showed me this piece of paper he had like oh he had like all these different things planned and like scribbled out and then moved over here and like I, honestly his effort is everything we're trying to figure out something else he well he's planning something else i don't know something more local so he said uh leave it in his hands <laughs> he is planning something else for my birthday so um you know we had the next several days kind of blocked off for my birthday trip so I honestly told him, I was like, literally the other day was like a birthday trip. Like going to the Breakers Mansion and having that igloo dinner. I'm like, that very well could have been my birthday. Um, but he still wants to plan something else for me, which is super sweet. So we'll see. I'd be happy with anything, honestly. I've had such a fun month. I like just don't even care. Like I just love this season so much. And like the other day, it was so much fun with him um, in Newport. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll take you along because we have the next several days open. Um, but I'm almost kind of relieved because I feel like I still have a lot to do. Um, like, especially wrapping, um, planning out Christmas Eve. Like, I have a few games I want to do. Planning out recipes for Christmas Eve. You know, grocery shopping. I really need to, like, clean the house. Um, like, that's super, super important. Like... Vlogmas is such a busy time um, that the house is like not up to my normal standards. <laughs> so, especially with guests coming over, I really want to clean the house. Uh, so yeah, now we got time to do all of that and I will take you guys along. I just did so much skincare. I'm like so shiny, but I did that Origins mask. Oh my God, those Dr. Dennis Gross sensitive pads are awesome. Like I feel like my skin is already looking like brighter and more even and I also love that um, herbivore facial oil as well I use that and then um, I use the Laneige water bank cream and my skin has been looking really healthy I got a pimple coming in hot right here <laughs> but I don't know I actually have a facial book tomorrow as well 
for a little pamper moment. I've been trying to do a facial once a month, and I feel like that's been helping my skin a little bit too, but honestly, it's mostly just for me to relax. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in the car. Sorry for this long-winded morning ramble. Um, I'm actually headed back to the mall. What do you know? So friggin' Yarmin, <laughs> the love of my life, his Uniqlo friggin' pants that he tried on in the dressing room. The ones he tried on um, ended up being a little too big, so he got the next size down, and then he, we got home, he never tried them on, and he was like, these are actually too small. So now, <laughs> I was like, I don't have a lot going on today, do you want me to go exchange them? Um, he's working on his final for school, so I'm gonna go return those for him. Um, I hope the mall is not too crazy, this is like my millionth time at this mall. And it's the Sunday before Christmas. It's going to be crazy. I'm playing myself. I played myself. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to go exchange those and just like in and out, bing bong. And then we're going to come back and wrap presents. But this is the Skims Cozy Fleece. Obsessed. I'm going to link it. It's the coziest. The coziest. Like it's so stretchy and just so soft and luxurious you need it so all right let's <laughs> let's go meet our fate at the mall all right yeah it's busy <laughs> the mall opens in two minutes it is packed i got really lucky and got a, a good spot kind of well kind of getting our steps but <laughs> wish me luck y'all all right mission accomplished okay you guys i am home i had some lunch i actually ran and did a Target pickup because it was packed. So I placed an order <laughs> to the drive up because I also don't want to get sucked into anything. Got to stay focused on Christmas. So, um, all right, here's the situation. So I wanted to share a really fun game that I'm going to be playing at my Christmas Eve party. So I want to let you guys know a few days before. So if you want to play it, I will say, I feel like I am the last person to really do this <laughs> it's not that original at all um but i see a lot of people play this on like tiktok and just all over so it's like the present unwrapping mitten game so i went to target i'm not going to show just in case my family's watching but i got two kind of just fun snacky gifts for um the game to play with my family and i also got gift tape so the family stands in a circle at the table and there's two wrapped presents or you could just do one. I'm probably gonna do two rounds. Um, I'm definitely vlogging this because it's gonna be hilarious. Um, and one person puts on mittens and starts trying to open the present. Meanwhile, the next person is rolling dice trying to get a double of a number. They're rolling quick, quick, quick. And once they get the dice number, then it's the next person's turn, it's their turn to put the mittens on and try to unwrap it. And whoever gets it unwrapped on their turn gets to keep the gift. So um, I highly recommend YouTubing that if, you, if my words made no sense, <laughs> just YouTube, like mitten unwrapping present game. <laughs> and it looks so fun and just like a riot. So I have a couple games that I wanna play on Christmas Eve. I think it's gonna be very hectic and fun. So anyway, it's finally time to wrap because I went and grabbed these last two things because other than that, I have everything I need to wrap. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, there's one more thing that's coming in the mail. That's fine. See, that's the Capricorn in me. I'm like, I want to do it all in one day at one time. Anyway, I, I feel like that's just, I'm waiting for one last thing to come in because one thing that was personalized came in and was wrong. And I was like, ma'am. So I messaged the company and they didn't answer me, but then they finally answered me and they felt really bad. And they're gonna send me one like <sighs> to come in before Christmas. So anyway, <laughs> oh, we're gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap everything. But traditionally, um, the last couple years, I usually put on all of the office Christmas episodes while I wrap. It's just kind of like my own little tradition. <laughs> so, um, Let's do a time lapse so I can enjoy my office. When Netflix um, got rid of The Office, Yara bought me all the seasons on Apple TV. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna start off. I'm gonna go season by season. Um, I Google a checklist every year for like which Christmas episodes are on what season. So let's start with season two, episode 10, Christmas party. Oh, makes me just so happy. <laughs> Every time the snow 
about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. My camera kept dying or overheating, but we're done. I got my cousin's birthday gift, my grandpa's birthday gift. We all, my whole family has birthdays around Christmas, but oh, yay, <laughs> such a huge, huge relief. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them all under the tree and just clean all this up. <laughs> well, the hair is back in the unattractive pony. I am currently searing us some chicken breasts. I have a sweet potato in the oven and I'm gonna make some broccoli. Pretty much now, you know, I cook like healthy dinners and you know, I can have probably just about a quarter of what I used to have amount wise of it, but it's kind of nice. I feel like I'm past, you know, the points with food where, you know, cooking isn't like, <laughs> crazy or difficult like and yard is always open to eat whatever which is nice um so i have chicken in the pan sweet potato in the oven and then at the end i'm just gonna steam some broccoli all right i need you guys to see how delish this sauce looks for the chicken i'm gonna put the recipe link below it smells phenomenal so it was like a shallot but i didn't have a shallot so i used red onion garlic um, minced garlic thyme parsley cooking wine broth um and that's everything but it smells so insane <laughs> like just so good the whole house smells like homey yummy and guys look at how freaking huge the sweet potato is that we're gonna share it is ginormous all right you guys wrapping up this vlog in front of the christmas tree got on christmas cookie show i don't know what exactly it is i love any and all christmas cooking shows but that's it for today the wrapping is done all is well so tomorrow we're gonna go get a facial and kind of have like a self-care day. I'm very excited about it. So I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.